Well, I, now, I'm going to say right from the beginning, I am not saying the rapture is happening on December 26th. However, the rapture is imminent. It could happen any nanosecond. I will never set a date nor hour, but what I do want to share with you, and it's so strong in me, I actually had an open vision of a calendar zoomed in December 26th. You know, I, I I actually, I think I laughed out loud for a good 10 seconds when I first saw this video by Tim. So he's getting desperate. It has been over a year since he began doing multiple videos per day, declaring the rapture is very, very soon. Um, so uh, <laughs> his, in the title of his video has, says nothing about the rapture. But it has a date on it, and it says it's significant, is significant, not maybe significant, but is significant. I want to, I wanna, don't let these liars fool you. Tim wrote in writing on his video that I'm now recording on so that it's in the record. It is significant. Not might be, not I believe it is, but it is, right? And then on his channel page, you go look at his videos, and you tell me what his main subject is. His number one subject is rapture soon, rapture very soon, rapture very, very, very soon. Number two is the gospel of grace. But number one by far is the rapture. So when he puts a date on a video, he doesn't even have to say anything. People are automatically going to associate that date with the rapture. And he knows that because the very first words out of his mouth are, I'm not setting a date for the rapture. I'm not saying the rapture is December 26th. So then what are you doing, Tim? What, what exactly are you doing? See, we know what he's doing. Those of us with a brain and an IQ above 20, those of us with um, a, a slight bit of honesty in our walk with the Lord, we know what you're doing, Tim. You want visitors to your YouTube channel. You want people to watch your videos. And that's all you care about. So now you're gonna now you're gonna claim a vision happened. Oh, I want proof of this vision. I want the Lord God Almighty to show us clearly as his people that you are a prophet and that your visions mean things. Otherwise, it's just empty words and empty lies and condescending and using the Lord's name in vain. That's what you're doing. Because you're prophesying now. You're saying, I had a vision, and I'm going to share it with you. Of course, just like all the other date setters and time frame setters out there, you do everything you can to set dates with false urgency without appearing to set a date necessarily. So, again, you guys, this is how these lying, manipulative schemers work. They... they and they don't even, I don't even know that Tim knows he's lying. I think Tim has lied to himself for so long, he doesn't even understand that he's doing it. I mean, that's how deceived he is. He can get on here for a year and tell people it's very, 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 very soon, and nothing happens, and still say it every day, three times a day. So there's something wrong with this guy. Anyway. What I'm saying is, something is happening on December 26th. What is that? What do you mean? What something is happening? What what are you what information are you giving us, Tim? I don't know. It could be an awakening. It, it could be I, I don't know. That to the apocalypse. I don't know. But what I'm telling you is so for the past few weeks. Oh for goodness sake, you know. <laughs> okay. So here is the key here is the key thing. He's, he's talking about a, a solar eclipse. It's, it's a, a thing that's happening in the heavens, in the, in the stars, in the moon, whatever. And um, I, I want to take this opportunity to, um, to correct this error that is quite common with these end times hobbyists and hypesters and, and you know, liars. Um, this is a false interpretation of uh, Genesis 1.14. Let's hear what Tim says about it first. 
based on an interpretation of Genesis 114, rabbinic Judaism considers celestial events to be signs from God. And this is what it says. And God said, let there be lights in the expanse of the heavens to separate the day from the night and let them be for signs. An eclipse, a luminary being stricken, is a prime example of such a sign. Okay, that so is, they go to that is what the verse says. He read it correctly. Rabbinic Judaism aside, whatever, who cares what they believe? But here's what the verse says. As he says, you know, God said, "Let there be lights in the firmament, and let them be for signs and seasons and days and years." I want you guys to 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 really listen here. Um, there are multiple, and I'm doing this on the fly, so I'm not totally prepared. Um, so I don't have all the verses in front of me, uh, but there are, there are clearly multiple, multiple verses throughout the Old Testament where God clearly and explicitly told Israel, do not look at the stars and, and then determine your course of action or allow them to dictate what's happening in your life. Don't do the astrology thing. God says over and over and over again, that is an abomination. And, and Tim himself and all these other end times people would all agree. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, astrology is, uh, is evil. Well, we're not doing astrology, though. All right, so let me just make that statement that is absolutely undisputable. God said, don't look at the stars. So do you think God would say that in his word uh, multiple times? And then, and then go ahead and, and go against his own word? Oh, that's self-evident. Of course he wouldn't. He wouldn't go directly against his word. So if you're thinking that the, the, the word signs here is messages from God, then you're, you're calling God a liar because he said, don't look in the stars for messages. Whether they're from him or not, it, has, it makes no difference. He never differentiated. He didn't say, well, yeah, feel free to look at the stars for messages from me. That, I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about messages from me. I'm talking about messages from Satan or somebody else. Don't do, no, he said, do not do that. Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1 through 3, clearly show that God used to uh, deliver words to his people, messages to his people through the prophets. Never the stars, the prophets. And now it is through his son, Jesus, not the stars. Signs here, the word signs is the word oath. Okay, O-W-T-H is the Hebrew word for that. I'm going to click on this. This is simple to do. Everybody can go to blueletterbible.org and look up the verse. I'm not a genius. I do have an IQ above 20, though. The word is a sign or a signal, a distinguishing mark, a banner, a remembrance, a miraculous sign, an omen or a warning or a token. Now, where in this, where in any of these words does it say message from God? He's trying to tell us something. Never. Here's another use of it. God, the Lord set a mark upon Cain. He, he, he put a token on him. God said the rainbow is a token of the covenant. It's a symbol of it. Your wedding ring, if you're married, is a token. It is a sign of your spouse's love for you. When we take the bread and the cup in communion, that communion is a sign. It is a token. It is a token of our remembrance. Those, those elements are, are representative of his blood and body. and We are showing a sign of his death. That's what this is about. This isn't about messages. So don't let these liars tell you that God allows us to look at the sky and see natural patterns occurring that we all know that have happened for thousands of years and we've always understood them. Don't let them tell you, twist the Bible and say, oh, those are messages from God because they're, they're not. The, the lights in the heavens are a token and I, I, I interpret it this way. The heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament shows his handiwork. The, the lights in the sky, the, the stars and the sun and the moon are tokens of God's glory. They are signs of his glory. 
They also do help us mark the seasons and the passage of time and the months and the days. And God used them when he set up his feast days. That's all true. But they're not messages. So stop lying, Tim. I know it's really hard for you. Um, I'm going to play the last piece of this. And you're just going to see again how ridiculous this man is. This guy is absolutely ridiculous. He just... And, and it's clear that he is after nothing more than your attention and a little bit of your money. Something about the 26th. What does that mean? Well, we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> it may not be anything you even recognize. I believe it will be something at least substantial in my life, but I, I can't tell you exactly what. And okay, this is going to mean something. It, it means something. It is significant. What does it mean? We don't know. It might be nothing. You guys, if I don't laugh, I'll cry. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Uh, Tim, I'm not going to... So, you know what? You know why I did this video, Tim? Because you told us not to. You are a date setter. You are a time frame setter. You are twisting the word of God. You are lying. And by the way, Tim, you have been wrong 100% of the time for the last year. So, you have zero credibility. The only credibility you have is in your fervent little imagination and your little fervent brain. Stop it, Tim. Stop it. And we're not going to stop holding you accountable. I don't care how many times you whine and cry and yell and tell people to stop doing it. It ain't going to stop us. So you keep running your mouth. You're going to be held accountable.